Good good day everyone. So ito yung ating uh, recorded lecture regarding sa uh, fundamental canons ng CE laws, ethics and ethics. Okay? So before before we proceed or we start, let's have a opening remarks. So meron tayo ditong quote. Uh, so here, even the most rational approach to ethics is defense defenseless if there isn't the will to do what is right. So kahit meron tayong mga rules and regulations and so on, kung hindi naman uh, kung hindi naman willing na sundin yun, wala ring sense. So So dapat nasa uh, nasa tao pa din kung susunod siya, kung gagawin niya ba yung tama or still uh proceed pa rin siya sa uh, kamalian. So here, yung ating kumbaga agenda. So we will discuss the fundamental principles, fundamental canons of ethics for civil engineers, and then guidelines to practice under the fundamental canons of ethics for civil engineers. So itong one and three, almost the same lang yan sila. So, so one, it, it, we will list the fundamental canons and dito sa 1.3 is yung kanyang uh, description. Okay, so with that, without further ado, let's uh, start this lecture. So first, we have the fundamental principles dun sa ating code of ethics sa mga profession ng civil engineering or civil engineers. So the civil engineers uphold and advance the integrity, honor, and dignity of the civil engineering profession by using their knowledge and skills for the enhancement of human welfare and the environment. So dito, under our, uh, during our undergrad study, kumbaga sa ating college days, we enhance or nag-collect tayo ng skills and knowledge uh, with the with the help of our subjects and yung mga studies ninyo. And that, yung mga na-uphold ninyong mga knowledge or yung na-attain ninyong mga knowledge, gagamitin natin yun sa kabutihan kumbaga. Di ba? So, to enhance the human welfare, so we will help the society for the better uh, and good uh, good future, kumbaga. And then, uh, with helping the, or with the expansion or yung enhancement ng human civilization, huwag natin kakalimutan naman yung ating environment. So, they say na sa paglaki, sa pag-expand, or pag, uh, ano pa ba ito? Yung nag- Uh, lumalaki ba yung ating profession habang mas mas nagiging up uh, upgraded kumbaga yung civil engineering na profession and then yung mga uh, constructions natin and mga technologies na enhance minsan nakakalimutan yung environment with that like uh, machinery so sa machinery mas na nag -up, uh, mas lumalaki yung mga machines mas malaki yung iniimit nilang mga emissions like Uh, carbon dioxide na mga smokes and etc. And then, uh, yun din yung mga machinery natin like uh, production of plastic bags. So, yun siya. Meron nga tayong na create Meron din um, create na nakakatulong sa uh, mankind. Pero, somehow, nakakasira siya ng environment. So, with that, hindi lang tayo uh, Uh, gawa ng gawa or produce ng produce ng bagong mga technology or uh, products, dapat isipin din natin na uh, makatulong din dapat tayo sa environment. So, sa ngayon, nagiging trend na itong pagiging um, tag ito. Inclined na tayo ba? Um, aware na tayo sa environmental factor. So, unti-unti, Nag-create tayo ng mga methods na makaka-help sa environment. Like, 
wala na masyadong plastic bag, meron na tayong mga paper bag, and then meron pang mas mas magandang ginagawa nila yung mga plastic bag pero hindi siya talaga plastic, kumbaga hindi siya polymer. Yung mga synthetic uh, like uh, uh, yung event parang jelly jelly yun siya. So pag ma-expose ng matagal sa tubig, natutunaw siya. So I've seen those in YouTube and in uh, um, in news then. So next is number two. Being honest and impartial and serving with fidelity in the public, their employers, employees, and clients. So, so keyword dito, honest. So, honest tayo sa public, sa ating mga um, boss, employers, and then kung ikaw naman ang boss, honest kasi yung mga employees, and then kung may client tayo, and to them. So, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng self-interest. Kung baga, sample na lang, mamahalan natin yung, yung estimate natin kahit naman na uh, talaga namang meron tayong kita. Yung parang standard na uh, pag-bloat ng isang contractor is 30%. Yun siya. Nandun na yung kita ng contractor, 30%. So, minsan, yung iba... Ginagawa nilang 100%. So, kawawa si client. And then, kung sa government naman, uh, government pro uh, project naman, kawawa yung ating uh, gobyerno. Fund, din, fund ng uh, public din yan siya. Okay. Isang example lang yan, pero marami pang uh, mga situation. So, being honest is, kumbaga, golden rule. Di ba? Be honest. Next is striving to increase the competence and prestige of the civil engineering profession. Etong three and four somehow uh, mag-correlate ito sila, so isahin, ko, isahin na lang natin sila. And supporting the professional and technical societies in their, in their discipline. So kahit na nag-graduate na tayo, kahit na meron na tayong license, we still strive for uh, learn, still learning pa din. So, minsan nakakalimutin natin na once na graduate na, once na may lisensya na, nakakalimutan na yung self-development. So, um, later on, maano ka niyan eh, parang, parang maabutan ka niyan and then once na naabutan ka niyan, hindi ka nag-self-improvement, uh, wala kang self-improvement, sa example is, napag-iwanan ka ng technology. So, Nangyayari yan sa previous generation, yung hindi sila inclined sa technology, so nahihirapan sila sa mga computers, yung uh, programming. So ngayon, uh, with the later uh, latest trend kumbaga sa engineering, we have STAAD, we have MIDAS. So learning those uh, platforms will uh, will be beneficial to the this generation, kumbaga. So, hindi lang siya magtatapos. So, somehow, siguro, in the next 10 years, may bagong, uh, may bagong platform na mas, uh, kumbaga, mas uh, high-tech pa. So, yun. We should strive uh, uh, learning. Uh, never stop learning, kumbaga. And then, supporting the professional and technical societies. Dito, once na graduate na, meron tayong a uh, group kumbaga sa civil engineering, civil engineers, we have PICE. So yan yung uh, group natin. So hindi lang din uh, supporting the groups, iso support din natin yung uh, kapwa natin na civil engineers. So kung merong uh, merong project, merong business yung kapwa natin, hindi natin sila sisiraan. Yun siya. Hindi naman ginasabi na uh, doon talaga bibili, bibili talaga tayo. Hindi naman parating meron, meron tayo. So ang ginamin lang dito, huwag natin siraan kahit na in tutulungan natin sila by promoting their product. So yan siya. Okay, next. We will we have here yung ating seven 
fundamental canons. So we will, I will just read it to you. Next slide nito is iisa-isahin natin yung kada canons, yung kanyang description. So first, civil engineers shall uphold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public and shall strive to comply with the principles of sustainable development in the performance of their duties. So somehow, itong number one is you number one dun sa kanina, Code of Ethics. Magka-correlate lang sila. Number two, civil engineers shall perform services only in areas of their competence. Okay, isa ito, example nito ha. Kung civil engineer, civil engineers tayo, hindi tayo peperma doon sa uh, pang, kumbaga yung uh, engineering, drawing, and plans ni uh, mechanical engineer, yung electrical engineer. So, kung ano lang yung sa inyo, or yung sa atin, which is yung structural or yung, uh, yung architectural plan, we are allowed to, uh, to uh, sign. As, kumbaga, uh, Sign and seal. So we are allowed. So meron naman uh, ginapush si yung mga uh, groups of architects or yung architect profession na uh, binabawi nila yung architectural drawing and plans na kumbaga hindi na magperma daw si civil engineers. So pero hindi pa rin siya uh, exclusive sa kanila. So, depende kay client kung kanino siya magpapaperma. Kung kay architect, okay lang. Kung kay civil engineer, okay lang din. Pero somehow, yung mga masyadong modern or yung talagang aesthetic na kumbaga ba, more on, gawa na yan ni eh, or, or kumbaga, ibigay nyo na yan kay architect. Yung atin, yung atin as civil engineers, yung mga simple lang kumbaga na mga architectural plans. Okay, next is civil engineers. Eh, bulol ako, sorry. Civil engineers shall issue public statement only in an objective and truthful manner. Okay, kung magiging nasa public ay tayo, we will be, kumbaga, uh, uh, magiging professional, professional yung approach ninyo ba? Huwag niyo masyad, huwag, huwag parang asukarap na way. So, yun nga. Okay. So next is civil engineer, engineers shall act in professional matters for each employers or clients as faithful agents or trustees and shall avoid conflicts conflict of interest. Okay. So example lang tayo, mabilis ang example lang tayo dito sa number four. Example is uh, employed na kayo, nasa construction site na kayo, and then meron di kasi may iwasan na meron tayong pakyawan sa site. So, yung pagiging conflict of interest is um, pinasukan mo yun. Halimbawa, uh, dapat merong ibang agency or ibang entity yung magpapakyaw uh, pero pinakyaw mo. And then, yung thought ng conflict of interest dyan is you, the way na mag-check ano mag or yung paggamit ng materyales uh, baka kunin mo yung materyales dun sa uh, bodega ni contractor. So, parang duda-duda. So, iwasan na lang yun siya. Iwasan, depende na lang, meron kasing contractor na gaalaw ng ganyan. So, depende pa rin yan. Basta honest ka lang, pwede naman, mang, uh, pwede naman niya mangontrata si engineer, kahit na siya yung site engineer dyan, basta alam ni client, alam ni uh, employer mo. Okay, now, number five, civil engineers shall build their professional reputation on the merit of their services and shall not compete unfairly with others. So, sa real world, madami na talagang civil engineers, di ba? And then, sinasabi dito, i-develop mo yung sarili mo or, uh, syempre, advertise mo sarili mo, di ba? Um, Sa so, sobrang dami natin, dapat meron tayong sarili, sariling skills, sarili, sariling mga achievements. So, in that way, kung ano yung achievement mo, be truthful. Huwag kang, uh, huwag kang sasapaw sa iba. Kung wala ka namang 
kinalaman sa kanilang achievement, huwag kang huwag kang sasapaw. Kumbaga, ibigay mo na yan sa kanila. Gumawa ka ng sarili mong achievement. Or you you will uh, kumbaga alam naman natin yan. Kumbaga, walang sapawan na lang. Be supportive na. Be supportive sa kapwa. And uh, what comes around goes around. And then kung susupport ka sa kanila and in the in, in time na sa iyo na is uh mayroon mayroon ding magandang support na maibibigay yung kapwa sa iyo. Next is civil engineers. Okay, civil engineers shall act in such a manner as to uphold and enhance the honor, integrity and dignity of the civil engineering profession. Okay. So parang asa na ito. Parang same siya dito sa number three. So if you are in public or meron tayong seminar and you will be a speaker, you will be you will act as a professional na magiging uh, magiging proud yung PICE or kung ano mang group ang may, ang sinalihan mo. And then, magiging proud kumbaga yung community ng civil engineers once na makita ka in public o oh, uh, kapwa parang paulit-ulit uh, tayo. Basta uh, in a way, magiging proud yung, yung society ng civil engineers when you, uh, when they see you kumbaga. Number seven, civil engineers shall continue their professional development through their careers. So, same lang ito kanina. Almost the same lang. So, huwag kalimutan yung self-development. Uh, kahit na professionals na, kahit na licensed na, uh, uh, learning is still a uh, uh, never-ending kumbaga. Okay. Okay, ulitin natin na civil engineers shall continue their professional development throughout their careers and shall provide opportunities for the professional development of those civil engineers under their under their supervision. So, is ito kasi siya. Sample nito is meron tayong newly newly hired na civil engineer and then kumbaga kaka kakatapos niya lang or kakapasal niya lang sa board and then nag-apply as site engineers meron uh, meron technicalities or mga methods or yung yung sa site nga na hindi niya alam so nandiyan si project engineer to supervise and to uh, teach uh, what is Uh, kung ano yung uh, na ang uh, mga mga kakailanganin or yung mga efficient ways na pwedeng gawin sa construction site. Mga ganon. So tulungan. Hindi pwede na iwanan mo lang itong si newly hired na hindi niya alam ang gagawin. Alam, uh, kumbaga hindi na yan bago. Ganyan talaga yan siya. Kaya meron tayong uh, a super, a supervisor to supervise your work and hindi ka papagalitan kumbaga maliban na lang kung paulit-ulit kang tinuruan pero hindi mo pa rin nagawa hindi mo pa rin na na, na kumbaga na internalize hindi mo inara lang mabuti kahit na paulit-ulit ang tinuro sa iyo doon na mapapagalitan ka na in that way pero yung talagang bago pa lang fresh na fresh pa lang and then papagalitan mo kasi ganit, mali yung ginawa yung ganito without Uh, supervising them without giving proper proper instruction so parang mali naman di ba okay so next is yung guidelines to practice wait lang under the fundamental canons uh, of ethics so number one yung canon number one natin again civil engineers shall hold paramount the safety health and welfare of the public and shall strive to comply with the principles of sustainable development 
in the performance of their duty. So we have here A to F. So A, civil engineer shall recognize that the lives, safety, health, and welfare of the general public depends upon uh, engineering judgments, decision, practices incorporated into structures, machine, products, processes, and devices. So, yung ginakonstruct natin as a civil engineer, nagakonstruct tayo ng mga uh, structures. Uh, those structures, will, kapag natapos yun, will be used by the public or kung client natin. So, kung mali, kung dinaya mo yung bakal, dinaya mo yung uh, cement ratio sa concrete mix, eh, yung strength is compromise. So, kunting uyog or konting earthquake is magigiba na. So, dapat uh, nasa mind ni civil engineer in in designing the plan and in the uh, construction, uh, iniisip niya yung safety. Safety ba itong aking uh, method, yung aking strategy, yung aking design mix and specifications. Okay, next civil engineer shall of uh, approve or seal only those design documents reviewed or prepared by them, which are determined to be safe for public health and welfare in the con in the conformity with a uh, with the accepted engineering standards. So, yung ating engineering drawing and plans before yun siya i, i approve ni building official dapat naka sign and seal yun siya with the respective professionals. So sa atin, as a civil engineers, uh, we are allowed to sign and seal sa ating uh, structural uh, plan and doon sa architectural plan. So, and then, meron kasi sa, uh, sa industry natin na uh, hindi tayo yung nag-design, hindi tayo nag-prepare, pero tayo yung ilalapitan ng client or liaison na mag uh, na magperma. So pwede naman yun, pero dapat binigyan mo ng time na i-review na tama yung kanyang mga specification, tama yung bakal, tama yung dimension na ginamit. So you are allowed at uh, to sign that with the thought na na-review mo yun siya. Um, next, civil engineers whose professional judgment is overruled under circumstances where the safety, health, and welfare of the public are endangered or the principle of sustainable development is ignored and shall inform their clients or employers of the possible consequences. So, pag malaki hang project na, yung ating, uh, uh, kumbaga, malaki hang project yung uh, i-construct, there, there are needed documents such as EC, ECC, Environmental Compliance um, Certificate. So maraming, maraming kang gagawin yan ng mga documents, uh, supporting documents, supporting mga, mga and others pa, supporting documents, meron pang mga uh, surveys, and etc. So Maraming tayong gagawin. Uh, kumbaga, example is uh, road. So yung sa road, meron tayong um, geodetic, meron tayong ECC, and, and etc. So before na ma mag-start ang construction, merong mga plans uh, na, and documents na gagawin. Okay, so sa kumbaga highway development lang or highway highway planning. So first, meron kang initial initial documentation yung ating planning. So after that, nakapaggawa ng plans is environmental assessment naman ang next. Once na na-approve yung environmental assessment, nandun ka na sa final stage. I-incorporate mo kung ano yung data na kuha mo doon sa environmental stage. Incorporate mo na siya sa plan. So from initial planning, meron ka nang a next stage is uh next stage is ang uh, final final planning na. And then next niyan, uh, once na okay na yun siya, nandoon na tayo sa bidding or uh, 
uh, bidding or selecting a, the contractors or contractor. And then, the next yan is construction and then yung kanyang uh, uh, maintenance na. Maintenance dun sa structure natin. Okay, next is civil engineers who have knowledge or reason to believe that other person of firm may be in violation of any the any of the provisions of canon one shall present such information to the proper authority in writing and shall cooperate with the proper authority authority in furnishing such further information or assistance as may be required so with that thought kumbaga meron tayong kakilalang may ginagawang mali or uh, kabaliktaran dito sa ating canon 1, we have the right na magsalita in in a way of uh, proper writing. So, hindi lang pwede na uh, vocal lang or kumbaga chismis-chismis lang. So, in proper writing, kumbaga documented yung ating mga reklamo. So, kung nagreklamo ka, all throughout, dapat present kanyan. Kumbaga, in in the court, nandun ka to uh, give your statement. Okay, next, civil engineers should seek opportunities to be construct uh, constructive service to be of constructive service in civic uh, affairs and work for the advancement of safety, health, and well-being of their communities and the protection of their environment through the practice of sustainable development. Okay, so dito, uh, yung construction industry natin is nag evolve So, ngayon, trend na sa atin na uh, uh, nag-construct tayo, pero with the concept of environmental sustainability. So, meron tayong gina, gina push na uh, green building. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, inclined siya sa uh, environment. So, meron tayo dyang, uh, kumbaga, yung tubig ulan, is gagamitin natin yan. It is, is store natin yan. Pwede natin siyang gamitin as pangdilig sa halaman, pang, pangdilig sa environment. Kumbaga, kung abog, pwede natin uh, diligan. Uh, pwede yun ang gamitin natin. Kumbaga. At saka, meron din yung, uh, meron na yung, uh, sa electricity nga, solar. Yan, naka-solar. So, trending na siya ngayon. Hopefully, in 10 years or in in near future, mas mas magagamit na siya or mas madali na siyang ma-attain uh, para uh, uh, for the, uh, kumbaga sa ating environment. Okay, next. Last, civil engineers should be committed to improving the environment by adherence to the principle of sustainable development as to enhance the quality of life of the general public. So, paulit-ulit tayo. So, environmental uh, aspect is dapat hindi natin yung kinakalimutan. So, yung ating government, unti-unti naman, or nag nagiging inclined, kung baga ba, Unti-unti tayong nag-develop ng mga regulation, laws, uh, and laws na magpropotect dun sa ating environment. Isa dito is bawal na magsunog, di ba? Bawal na magsunog ng mga plastics dun sa ating kabahayan. So, and then yung segregation is unti-unti na siya gina-impose. So, hindi kukunin ni basure, basurero ang, ang gikolekta, ang gikumbaga, gikumpile mo ng mga basura if hindi yan siya nakasegregate. Okay. Okay, next is canon number two. So, sa canon number two, again, civil engineers shall perform service, services, sorry, services only in areas of their competence. So, civil engineers shall undertake uh, to perform engineering assignments only when qualified by education or experience in the technical field of engineering involved. So again, ulit-ulit tayo dito, kung civil engineers, we are allowed to sign and seal sa structural plans and architectural plans.
And then as a civil engineer, uh, yung structural analysis is gagawin din natin yan once na yung ating structure na i-build is magsa-second floor na. Pero hindi lahat ng civil engineer is makaka-allowed na mag-sign or, or gagawa ng uh, structural analysis. So ang allowed lang yan is yung structural engineer natin. So they are experienced and uh, with the edu educational background for uh, for computing and for doing the structural analysis. Next, civil engineers may accept an assignment requiring education or experience outside of their own fields of, of competence, provided that their service are restricted to those phases of the project in which they are qualified. So kung saan lang, uh, so kung saan lang, saan ka lang qualified, kung may skill ka uh, with that particular item, yun lang yung add sa'yo. So, all other phases of such project shall be performed by the qualified associates, consultants, or employees. So, example nito is you kung licensed civil engineer ka na, and then nag-take ka ng master plumber then and then qualified ka. So, you can also uh, expand your 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 expertise or yung yung works mo sa site as a master plumber or magpa-plan ka mag mag-layout ka ng ating uh, plumbing system. Pero hindi lahat ng civil engineers pwedeng gawin 'yan. Yung registered master plumber only. So ganyan. So pwede din Kung magiging RME ka, kung baga registered uh, master electrician, pwede din na uh, magiging uh, uh, mag, kumbaga maglatag ng electrical wiring. Pero kung hindi ka naman uh, registered, you cannot, you cannot uh, do that. Next, civil engineer shall not affix their signature seals to any civil engineering plan or documents dealing with subject matter in which they lack competence by virtue of education or experience or to any such plan or document not reviewed or prepared under their supervision and control. So this is this one is natakal din natin. Okay, again, uh, hindi ka pwedeng pumerma sa professional uh, PEE Kumbaga, Professional Electrical Engineer, PME, Professional Me Mechanical Engineer. So, kung ano yung level of expertise mo, education mo, dun lang tayo allowed na mag-perma. And then, uh, meron, na, meron mga plans na ilalapit sa'yo na hindi ikaw ang nag-prepare, hindi ikaw na gumawa. Pero pwede mo pa rin yun siyang permahan in a sense na na-review mo yung ating uh, plans, drawing plans. Last, civil engineer shall not use the uh, specialty of engineering title such as structural engineer, transportation engineer, water engineer, geotechnical engineer, construction e engineer, etc. without the PICE, PICE specialist accreditation. Okay. So dito sa hindi ito lahat PICE, itong sex, itong sa ating structural engineer, ASEP yan siya. Kumbaga, yung ASEP, siya, sila yung grupo ng mga uh, specialized engineer with the uh, uh, branch ng structural. So yung ASEP is Association of Structural Engineering Profession. Transportation engineer, iba din yung kanilang uh, designation. Ako baga, kabuan kasi yung PICE kabuo ah, ha, nabubulol ako. Kabuuhan ng civil engineering profession. So under sa PICE nansya naman din lahat uh, structural engineer, transportation engineer. Pero bawat bawat specialty, specialty is mag-iiba na din yung kanilang grupo. Kung baga merong subgroup na so, okay, la, uh, civil in, uh, number three, civil engineers 
uh, shall issue public statements only in an objective and truthful manner. So well, with the, when we are in public eye again, act in a professional way. So yan yung thought nitong ating canon number three. So we have sub, sub canon or sub description niya. Civil engineer should endeavor to extend the public knowledge of civil engineering and sustainable development and shall not participate in the dissemination of untrue, unfair, or exaggerated statements regarding civil engineering. Huwag magmarites. Huwag magmarites, kumbaga. Huwag maging chismosa, chismoso na hindi mo naman alam yung totoo. Okay? So, huwag tayong mag-disseminate ng mga untrue or mga sabi-sabing mga uh, salita. Civil engineer shall be objective and truthful in professional reports, statements, or testimony. They shall include all relevant and pertinent information in such reports, statements, or testimony. By this, kumbaga mag, uh, magsasalita ka lang in public with factual data. Kumbaga. So hindi ka magbibigay ng opinion. Hindi opinionated yung statement mo. You will state the facts. Next, civil engineers when serving as expert witnesses shall express civil engineering opinion only when it is founded upon adequate knowledge of facts, upon a back background of technical competence, and upon honest conviction. So, lahat naman tayo hindi maiwasan. We have all our own opinion. Pero yung opinion mo dapat is based, again, on facts. So we have here. So adequate knowledge of facts and upon background technical competence. Yung technical, again, is yung ito yung mga skills na na-attain mo or na 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 kumbaga na tab nito man yung Okay, isa na yung natin. Other terms. Ang bubulol ako. Hindi ko na ma masabi tuloy. Okay. Upon honest conviction. So, yung oh, technical skills is yung na attain mo during the undergrad studies. So, yung mga nga, example is yung mga RC natin. Yung mga natutunan natin dyan. So, yung mga data specification. So, babasa yung opinion mo kung ano yung natutunan mo. Huwag tayo magmarites na hindi natin alam. Wala kang alam sa topic na yan. Magsas, magbibigay ka ng idea. So, iwasan yung ganun kasi uh, nakakababa. Nakakababa ng ating uh, profession. So, okay. So, next. Civil engineers shall issue no statements, criticisms, or arguments on civil engineering matters which are inspired of paid uh, by in interested parties. So binayaran ka para magsalita mas mag binayaran ka para magsalita ng masama sa kapwa mo or sa other other agency or entity or person. Unless they indicate on whose behalf the statements are made. Pero pwede ka pa rin magsalita <laughs> ng masama. Pero hindi mo i-claim. Hindi mo i-claim na base pa, base sa iyo 'yon. So, this statement is uh, given by this company, this persons, or magiging ano ka lang, uh, spokesperson, hindi galing mismo sa'yo. Okay. Uh, last, civil engineers uh, shall be dignified and modest, modest in explaining their work and merit and will avoid any act tending to promote their own interests at the expense of the integrity, honor, and dignity of the civil engineering profession and or related profession. So dito, kung pa, pa, mauulit tayo sa top na kung ano yung trabaho mo, kung ano yung achievement mo, yun lang yung ikiklaim mo. Okay? So hindi ka magkiklaim ng gawa ng iba hindi ka paninira ng gawa ng iba, 
So be professional, be be dignified sa iyong mga bibitawang salita. Okay, na canon number four. Next, civil engineers shall act in professional matters for each employer or clients as faithful agents or trustees and shall avoid conflict of interest. So here we have civil engineers shall avoid all known or potential conflicts of interest with their employers or clients and shall promptly inform their employers or clients at any business business association interests or circumstances which could influence their judgment or the quality of their services. So again, sa construction, merong pakyawan. So here, pag pinasok mo yung pakyawan, pwede naman basta alam ni employer or ni client. And then, and the new own judgment mo sa construction site is hindi magiging bias. So kahit na ikaw yung uh, uh, subcontractor sa project is gagawin mo pa din yung other duties mo as a site engineer or project engineer. Okay, next, civil engineer shall not accept com compensation from more than one party services on the same project or for services pertaining to the same project unless the circumstances are fully disclosed to fully disclosed to and agreed to by all interested projects so maraming nangyayari diyan so hindi ako masyadong maka pinpoint ng example kasi uh, parang pangit naman uh, meron kasi um kumbaga in this part of paragraph number 2 kumbaga ikaw ay yung nagiging third party or yung in between ng dalawang dalawang group so uh, pwede kang pwede magbigay itong grupo na ito sa iyo and then yung parang gagawa ka ng scenario kumbaga ito siya hindi ako binayaran so kumbaga kung pwede mabigyan ka baka incentives or any other form of monetary and then do naman sa kabila gumawa ka naman issue hindi ako binayaran so both parties bumayad sa iyo na hindi nila alam na uh, nagbigay na pala yung uh, magkabilaan so parang ikaw lang yung um, ikaw lang yung benefit nag benefit uh, in a untrue parang nagsinungaling ka in both parties. Pero pwede naman, pwede ka naman maghingi in both parties basta alam lang nila. Lahat, ah, lahat sila. Ang pangit niyan, once na naghingi-hingi ka nga and then uh, tinago mo and then wala kasing usok ay kumbaga hindi ma, uh, walang apoy na hindi makikita kasi yung usok lalabas at talabas yan. Kahit na ilang years Kumbaga, in three years, in five years, and then may pangalan ka na, sayang lang yung pangalan na gibuild mo, and then ma, ma, kumbaga, mababrand ka as sinungaling. Ito ang pangit. Pero hindi lang yun, yung ganun na example. Ha? Marami pang other ways of example na yan. So, um, it will boils down to being dishonest. So, ang pangit na mababrand ka as dishonest person. Mawawalan at mawawalan ka ng client niyan. So, next, civil engineer shall not solicit or accept gratitudes directly or indirectly from contractors, their agents, and other parties dealing with their client or employers in connection with work for which they are responsible. Sample nito, ikaw si site engineer, and then meron tayong mga a pakyawan or subcontractors and then dapat ikaw yung magbabantay sa works nila di ba kasi ikaw yung nandun sa owner side or doon sa construction uh, contractor side pero since nag tumatanggap ka ng pera from them yung judgment mo nagiging bias na imbes may mali silang nagawa hindi mo na sila mapapagalitan kasi parang nahihiya ka 
or ay baka hindi na lang ako bigyan kaya hindi ko na lang pagalitan. Eh di, eh, yung project na yung nasira, yung project na yung naging substandard kasi hindi nala sinunod yung specification or kung anong bakal or anong type of material yung gagamitin. Diba? So, um, be truthful lang. Uh, pwede naman na uh, kumita pa din si uh, civil engineer pero in a truthful manner. Yung ginagawa pa rin yung trabaho. Kung magbigay sila, oh, tanggap lang. Basta, stricto ka pa din sa trabaho. Kung magbigay pa din sila gano'n, edi, okay, thank you. Pero kung nagbigay sila para lang maging lax ka sa trabaho, di mo pansinin yung mga kamalian na lang, yun yung mali. Yun yung pangit. Okay, next. Civil engineers in public services services as members, advisors, or employees of governmental body or depart department shall not participate in consideration or action with respect to services solicited or provided by them or their organization in private or public engineering practice. So, nandito yung ano, from DPWH na mga engineers. So, dapat hindi mag-participate in a mga shady, shady or monkey, monkey business. Yan na yan. <laughs> ah, sorry lang. Yan na. Be truthful. Be truthful sa trabaho. And ang pe pag pera-pera, hindi yan may iwasan. Basta, yung quality ng trabaho is hindi pa rin ma ma-compromise. Okay, next, civil engineer. So, isahin ko na to. Parang bu bu buhuin ko na E, F, and G. Kasi yung thought niya, isa lang talaga. Be honest sa trabaho. Civil engineers shall advise their employees or clients when, as a result of their duties, they believe a project will not be successful. Civil engineers shall not use confidential information coming, from, coming to them in the course of their assignment as a means of making professional profit if such action is adverse to the interests of their clients, employers, sorry, employers or the public. Civil engineers shall not accept professional employment outside of their regular work or interests without the knowledge of their employers. So again, if meron kang a judgment na makikita sa trabaho na parang may mali yung ginawa si contractor man or yung subcontractor, dapat ano ka, uh, magiging vocal ka. I, ano mo, ilaban mo yung profession natin. Kung ano yung tama, ilaban. Tama ba? Char lang. Tama talaga eh. Huwag tayong uh, gagamit ng 12 kung ang need sa specification is 25. Ikaw ba yung site engineer niyan? So, magka, na, yung pangalan mo ang ginamit tuon sa kumbaga, kung DPWH project yan, yung pangalan mo nandoon. So, once na nagka-aberya yan, uh, marereprimand nga si contractor, pero sali-sali na din, damay-damay na ang lahat. So, yung profession mo, mapaput into help or pwede kang makuhaan ng lisensya. So, be truthful sa trabaho and be vocal kung may kamalian. The next, civil engineer shall not use, again, kung meron kang alam na, uh, na information, you can use that, but you cannot use that as a uh, blackmail. Pwede mo yung gamitin, magiging public, public eye-opener ka. Pero huwag mong gamitin naman sa in shady business. Gagamitin, parang, gamitin mo parang kumita ka. Gagamitin mo as blackmail. So, no. And then, uh, ito next is if you are employed and then meron kayong uh, rules sa company na you cannot be a double, double agent, kumbaga ba? Kung DPWH uh, employee ka and then magiging contractor employee ka. So, hindi yun pwede. Hindi yun pwede talaga kay ano, uh, government, uh, uh, go government agency. Uh, minsan, papayag ang private. 
So, uh, dalawang contractor yung trabahuan mo. Pwede, pwede kung allowed ng both parties, both employers. Pero sa, sa government, uh, as a government employee, bawal yan siya. Merong, meron kayong kasulatan, kontrata, na pinagbabawal yan siya. Okay, next, canon number five. Canon number five is civil engineers shall build their professional reputation on the merit of their services and shall not compete unfairly with others. Bali, isahin ko na to ha, medyo mahaba itong five natin. So, civil engineers shall not give solicit or receive either directly or indirectly any political contribution gratu gratu gratuity mali ate akong ano ate, or unlawful consideration in order to secure work exclusive of securing salaried position through employment agencies. Civil engineers should not negotiate contracts for professional services fairly. Should not so mali, mali. should negotiate contracts for professional services fairly and on the basis of demonstrated competence and qualification for the type of professional services required. So hindi ka mag hindi ka mag over over uh, ito. yung payment sa services mo, wag naman masyadong um, 100% or 1,000% increase uh, from the standard fee. Civil engineers may request, propose, or accept professional commission on a, con a contingent basis only under circumstances in which their professional judgments would not be compromised. So, naulit ko naman ito kanina. Uh, uh, si subcontractor bumigay ng pera sa iyo. Uh, pwedeng hindi mo tanggapin, pwedeng mong tanggapin. Basta yung yung thought nung pagbigay nila is uh, wala lang. Kumbaga, oh engineer pang dinner mo, okay. Pero kung bibigyan ka ng pera in a thought na engineer maging ano ka naman, ikaw na bahala sa trabaho namin. Uh, okay na ito, papasok kami ng ganitong uh, ganitong materials. So pag ganun, shady na yun. Shady transaction na yun. So no. Kasi yung magiging bias na yung judgment na dyan. Okay, next. Uh, civil engineers shall not falsify or permit misinterpretation of their academic or a professional qualification or experience. So dapat nagiging true ka sa mga credentials mo. Sa experience and academic uh, status mo. Kung hindi ka graduate, hindi ka na magiging civil engineer niyan. Kung kumbaga hindi ka license, huwag mo namang itago na hindi ka license. Okay? And then yung qualification mo, sabihin na dapat uh, structural engineer. And then sinabi mo na, oh, kaya ko yan. Structural engineer ako. So, hindi yun pwede. So, dapat qualify ka with the supporting documents. Kasi meron tayong mga certificates for those specialty na matatapos mo. Kung hinahanap sa trabaho is a masteral, uh, masteral degree na engineer. And then sinabi mo na, oh, yes, I am a nakatapos, nakapagtapos na sa masteral without, uh, okay, kahit hindi naman totoo. So yun, nagpa-falsify tayo ng data or ng ating uh, academic status or yung ating credentials. Next is civil engineers shall give proper credit for engineering works to those whom credit is due. Okay. Itong canons natin, no? somehow pabalik-balik siya. Pero ibig sabihin talaga yan, gina-emphasis talaga nila, gina-emphasize talaga nila kung ano yung tama. So, ginapalik-balik siya, ibig sabihin yan, uh, importante itong bagay na ito. Kung ano yung achievement mo, kung ano yung credits mo, na ikaw ang gumawa, yun lang yung sayo. Kung mayroong nagawang maganda yung kasamahan natin or yung sub, sub, uh, subordinate mo, yung mas nakababata sa'yo, or kahit yung mga newly hired, may binigay silang uh, idea na nakatulong sa site, 
sana naman pag uh, pagdating sa recommendation kay owner is ibibigay mo yung credit doon sa bata or kung sino man kahit na kay foreman okay so give credit sa mga uh, professionals na talagang uh, sa kanila na ano yun siya effort Okay, sana tayo. Okay, and shall recognize the proprietary interest of others. Whenever possible, they shall name the person or, or persons who may be responsible for designs, inventions, writings, or other compliments. So, hindi tayo mga ulekta ng compliments na hindi naman para sa sa'yo. Ang pangit nun, no? Pangit ng ganun. Okay, next. Civil engineers may advertise professional services in a way that does not contain misleading language or is in any other manner derogatory, derogatory to the dignity of the profession. Example nito is professional cards in recognized dignified publication and listing in roosters or direct directories published by responsible organizations provided that the cards or listing are con consistent in the size and content and are in a section of the publication regularly devoted to such professional cards. Some, and next is yung mga brochures na gagamitin. Kung baga may mga calling cards, di ba? Next is mga brochures to uh, promotion which is dapat factual, uh, naka-describe yung, yung experience mong na totoo, yung facilities, kung meron bang facilities, sasabihin mo, hindi yung bahay-bahay ka lang and then naglagay ka dun sa brochure mo ng ganitong uh, office, hindi naman sa'yo. Yung mga personnel, kung ilan yung tao mo sa organization mo, kung ikaw lang yung uh, tao, since pasimula pa lang, hindi ka gagawa-gawa ng mga untrue uh, organizational chart. And then yung capacity of to render services, kung ano lang yung skill mo, yun lang yung talagang gagawin mo. Okay, so kung baga design and build ka, at kung design ka lang, hindi ikaw yung magbe-build. Kung design and build, okay eh, pero kung as a uh, as a civil engineer, yung kaya natin siya is structural, yung pagdating sa aesthetics, somehow kaya naman pero once na masyadong complex yung aesthetic nandiyan si architect regarding naman sa aesthetic na mga lightings nandiyan si ating mga RME and yung ating PEE which is professional electrical engineers okay next display advertising and recognized dignified business and professional publications Providing it is factual and not misleading with respect to engineers' con extent of participation in project describes or described. Next, a statement of the engineer's name, of the name of the form, and statement of the type of the service posted. Excuse me, on projects for which they render services. Next, preparation of or Authorization of descriptive uh, articles for the lay or technical press, which are factual and dignified. Such articles shall not imply any more than direct participation in the project described. Next, permission by engineers for their names to be used in commercial advertisement, such as may be published by the contractors material, suppliers, etc. Only by means of modest, modest, dignified notation acknowledging the engineer's particip participation in the project describes. Such permission shall not include public endorsement or propriety products. Next, civil engineers shall not maliciously or falsify or falsely, directly, or indirectly inquire the professional reputation, prospects, practice, or employment of another engineer or 
indiscriminately criticize other another's work. So hindi ka magmamarites, hindi mo sisiraan yung kapwa natin civil engineer just to make yourself beautiful. Okay? So merong iba na para umangat sila is uh, tatama uh, aapakan nila yung reputasyon ng iba. Siya lang masyadong malalim. Pero yes, that is being uh, present yan in in our society. So toxic kumbaga ba? Toxic environment or toxic itong tao na ito. So uh, kung toxic siya, sana ikaw ay hindi ka magagaya. Okay? So uh, always always pray. Okay? As a new engineer, kumbaga bago uh, magiging bago kayo sa society ng civil engineers with the experience na may experience niyo sana hindi kayo magbabago so meron ma, merong mga circumstances na pwedeng magpabago sa pananaw niyo sa buhay pero sana yung pagbabago na yun is to the betterment of your name of our profession and for the future okay so wag yung kalimutan yun So, wag tayo maninira kasi bilog ang mundo. Uh, karma's a bitch. Umaga. So, be truthful. Uh, kung maga, truthful and honest ka. Isa na yun. One word lang yun siya. So, last. Uh, civil engineers shall not use equipment, supplies, laboratory, or office facilities of their employees to carry on outside private practice without the consent of their employers. Okay. Hindi natin gagamitin yung equipment or yung mga tools ni contractor without their knowledge. So, kung, mag, kung baga meron kang sariling, uh, sariling transaction and then gagamitin mo itong equipment ni, ni contractor para lang makatipid ka, so bawal yun. Kung baga meron kang i-deliver na materials sa uh, site uh, sa kumbaga sa sarili mong contract kumbaga sarili mong diskarte ba ano ba ito man kumbaga kung may sarili kang ginaconstruct and then gagamitin may equipment kumbaga mga mixing uh, transit mixer or yung mga one bagger mixer ginamit mo na without the knowledge ni ni owner so pangit yun so para nakaka-degrade yun kasi magagamit itong engineer na ito Okay, so next, we have, this is our last slide, okay? So, we have the canon number six, civil engineers shall act in such a manner as to uphold and enhance the honor, integrity, and the dignity of the civil engineering profession. So, civil engineers shall not know, knowingly act in manner which will be derogatory to the owner, To the honor, integrity, or deg sorry, dignity of the civil engineering profession or knowingly engage in business or professional practices of a fraudulent, dishonest, or unethical nature. So do, do, not, uh, do not participate in shady transaction or yung mga monkey businesses. Kasi lalo na yung mga transaction na without with and without engineering uh, aspect. Kumbaga, civil engineer pumasok sa pol politics and then being dishonest or other. Kumbaga, isang civil engineer nagnakaw ng notebook sa KCC. So, di ba, ang pangit. Kasi yan talaga gagamitin ng bumburadyo o radyo or any news a platform platform so parang ide-drag nila ide-drag nila yung profession so sali-sali na ni eh. uh, damay-damay na or yung kabit-kabit tayo sang civil engineer uh, uh, kasama ang kabit uh, blah 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 ganyan ganyan kasi gagawa ng balita eh para lang maging catchy so Damay-damay pa yung profession, madamay pa yung iba. So, yun lang. Sorry. So, hindi naman uh, relationship, no? More on works. 
works as a civil engineer. And then other works then then. Okay, last, canon number seven, civil engineers shall continue their professional development throughout their careers and shall provide opportunities for the professional development of those e civil engineers under their supervision. Civil engineers should keep current in their specialty, uh, specialty fields by engaging in professional practice, participating in continuing education courses, reading in the technical literature, and attending professional meetings and seminars. So dati, walang mga CPD units, so walang mga seminars, hindi uso ang seminars before. So trabaho-trabaho lang ang ginagawa ng mga professionals natin. Nung napansin na hindi talaga napapaktis na itong ating mga canons, which is yung self-development, yung professional development ng mga ating uh, sorry, ng ating mga professionals, ayun, ginawa ng, gi impose na talaga na meron tayong CPD before ka maka-renew maka ng mga license. Kasi kung, without, kung hindi natin na-impose, hindi talaga gagawin. Kahit nga na merong mga, uh, merong, uh, meron ng implementation ngayon, minsan nakakalimutan din talaga. Pero sana maging, uh, wag lang, kali, uh, wag lang maging uh, relax sa uh, kumbaga academic or yung professional development mo. Uh, kung may time, uh, please join the seminars or any other mga uh, enhancement uh, program within your profession and then yung, yung specialty mo. Okay, so... A civil engineer should keep, again, uh, una ulit na yan, civil engineer should encourage their engineering employees to become registered at the earliest, earliest possible date. Okay, nalito ako nito. So, yung employees mo to be registered in their earliest possible date. Ah, ito yung sa PRC. Okay. So, minsan, ako nga, late ako naka-ano nun eh. Kasi nagtrabaho na ako agad. So, pumasa ako sa PRC, uh, no, sa, yes, sa board, May 2015. Pero dahil na busy na sa work, uh, na-registered ako uh, December 2015. So, late ako na-register. Sige nga ako nun, update-update uh, ng aking supervisor na i-register ko na yung aking uh, license or mag-register na ako sa PRC. Okay, next. The civil engineers should uh, encourage sorry, civil engineers should encourage engineering employees to attend and present papers at professional and technical society meetings. So, itong mag-attend, kumbaga yung mga seminars natin, attend, ka ta attend sana tayo. And then kung meron kang nagawang uh, papers such as mga uh, thesis, 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 uh, sorry, mga thesis paper or yung mga uh, kung baga academic advances mo and then naka-feel ng ating uh, supervisor or other other peers na maganda, na makadevelop, uh, maganda, and then, mas makaka-develop sa ating profession is huwag mahihiyang ipapublish yun siya. <laughs> Next, civil engineer should encourage uh, civil engineering. Okay, sorry. Okay, last, civil engineer shall uphold the principle of mutuality satisfying relationships between employers and employees with respect to terms of employment, including professional grade, descriptions, salary range, ranges, and fringe benefits. So here, kung ikaw na yung employer, hindi ka magburaot kumbaga, sa iyong employees. So kung tayo civil engineers, maging employee, employer tayo, yung i-employ natin na civil engineers, huwag tayo maging buraot. So kung ano yung tamang salary grade ibigay natin, yung 
uh, yung kanilang mga benefits is ibibigay din natin. So, minsan, dinadaya tayo, pero hindi na, wala tayong masay kasi ano tayo eh, kailangan natin ng trabaho. So, kung uh, ka, bago ka pa lang, nagreklamo ka na, parang ang pangit. Pero dapat, si employer na tot na yan di employer. Trabaho na yan employer na be honest. So, in the coming near future, hindi na tayo yung magiging implo, mag, mag-i-employed. Hopefully, tayo na yung employer. So, kung tayo na yung employer, again, be honest and be fair. Okay? So, with that, uh, natapos yung ating discussion. And thank you, everyone. So, next discussion will be posted sa ating GC. So, yung assignment will be posted then sa ating GC. So, thank you, everyone. See you next um, next lecture.